Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I wanna show you how I uh, airlay my uh, seedless lamb. A friend of mine gave it to me, she goes, if a lamb have no seed, how do you make new plants? So she got me a uh, cuttings, and that was like, what, six years ago? And now I'm gonna show you what this cutting looks like, and now all my family and friends they want it too. So I give them a cuttings and uh, they're still this small. I don't know, they probably, I don't know why. But uh, so I'm gonna airline it so they can have a bigger plant and hopefully a fruit next year. So I'm gonna show you my plant real quick, okay? But the lamb tree looks like, uh, I have no idea what it's called. Uh, but I got it from the cuttings right here and I already earlaying some already But I'm gonna show you the process and this is it's fruit like crazy. Look Look at this so By comes fall the tons of fruit and They're juicy. My family told me they're juicy Here we go right here. That's what she said they're juicy and they have no seed at all over that. See? So, look, look at this, look at this uh, branch right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna airline this. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. Do you see the sun come through? And look at this. It shaded this lotus plant. And I don't want to shade this lotus plant. I need this lotus plant to have some sun as early as possible. So if I air laying this and I prune it to the side, it should give it should give this lotus plant a, a sun because everybody else have sun. And I'm gonna work on that part of shade right there's a big tree behind the, the house okay so and then i already earlier so i'm gonna earlier this one right here okay this this branch right here and the, the reason why oh maybe this one the reason why is that because it's sticking out to the walkway and i want i don't want to to stick on the walkway so i'm gonna earlier that so i'm gonna keep the walkway clear okay you ready i'm gonna tell you what you need okay for airline, this is what you need. A bucket of water. And potting soil. I that's all I use. Potting soil. And in my airline basket here I have zip tie. I have aluminum foil. Um, that's a big one. I have medium sized zip tie and a small zip tie for the small branch. And also, I have sh cutting shear, sharp knife. I do sharp this each time I do airling because it's just easy to work with. And some scissors are just encased. And a bag bag like this so I'm gonna start I'm gonna show you how to prepare the, the dirt first with this bag so I'm gonna put this down so with my bag I just got this this is like um, people put fruits and vegetables to put up poop whatever bag you have it's a plastic bag so I'm gonna put about three handfuls of dirt Okay. Yeah, you you can make it less if it's a small branch. You can make it more if it's a big branch. Okay, with that, and then with your water, you pour it in here. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. The reason you're doing this is you want to mix it, the water and your dirt extremely well. Okay, and after that. I'm gonna put a little bit more water, a uh, dirt. I just, I just want to make sure 
Okay, there we go. That's it. So, so I got the soy super mixed with water. And then I'm going to tie this up nice and tight. See? Okay. All right. And then with my cutting knife, I'm going to cut this. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this later. Okay, are you ready? Now, since you got all the stuff ready, let's prepare the branch that I was telling you about here. But I'm gonna bring you closer so uh, you get to see uh, what what I'm actually doing. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is a branch I'm gonna air lay in here. So before I start it, I'm gonna take the leaves off. Just clean up a little bit so it's easy for me to work with. And here too. I'm going to take this off. Okay, so this is a really good, nice branch. Let me see what's blocking you from seeing it. Oh, this one. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, just clear all this off. Here we go, nice and clean. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to be careful. They have a thorn. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Okay. So we're preparing. I'm taking, okay. Okay, I'm going to cut this off too. It's okay. So here it is. Right. Okay. okay. I think you can see it really good now. Okay. So here we go. So, so first I'm gonna take out the box. So that's why you really need a sharp scissor. Okay, and I cut out on both sides. Both sides right here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. There's a note here, so I'm gonna cut out above above the note. Okay. That's why I like to work with sharp scissor because. It just is dangerous because of how you got thorn, you got um, so the space is small, and then the sharp the scissor, the easier the job is. Okay, there you go. Okay, let me bring you a little bit closer. Can you see it closer? No? Okay, I think that's good. Okay, and then, okay, make sure all the boxes go gone, and then you have to scrape of the ambarian it's a it's a layer uh, after the box as it's, it's kind of smooth to the touch so i use the back of my knife and just kind of scrape it okay make sure you scrape it really well okay okay here we go and on both sides watch your fingers Okay, here we go. Okay, scrape it. Give it a good scrape. Give me check. I don't think I do it really well on this side. Okay. You know, I think if I know how I'm gonna invent a tool. To do this i'm pretty sure there is out there i'm trying looking for one because all right got it okay now okay i'm gonna bring you closer okay, okay well there you go all right now i'm gonna show you the bag do you remember this fancy bag that we prepared and I'm gonna get the zip tie ready because this is really, really, you wanna get all your stuff ready. Okay, so with those bags, with the potting soil and water, I kinda make a slit right here. Okay, oops, I make a slit from Top to bottom. Okay. See like that. And then 
I put it like this. I start from the bottom, it's fine. Okay. There it goes. And then kind of smoosh it in all the dirt and squeeze it in like this so it's nice and tight. Okay, there we go. Nice and tight and snug. Okay, and then zip tie. Love this thing. Oh, thank you for whoever invented the zip tie. I don't have to have eight arms to do this. Okay, while well, you hold the dirt, so here we go, and zip tie it as tight as you can. Here we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a cutting shear. Okay, I'm gonna take this off too, it's in my way. Cutting shear to cut this, so it's nice and clean. Okay, so I zip tie this, and then I'm gonna show you to get the plastic. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a big one. So, uh, I'm getting another bag to cover it. Just to preserve the, um, the moisture. I'm cutting this big bag open and I'm going to tell you why. Now, this is your chance to get two... Okay, hold on. Here we go. Sorry! Looking for this thing, two that two medium zip tie. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so here's a bag, and then I'm gonna put it around my um, ball of dirt here. Okay. Okay, make it nice and tight and snug. Have it go around. Make sure it's, it's okay you have a big one. Big plastic paper. Because it's just easy to work with. And then with that medium zip tie. Okay. I love this zip tie. I really do. Thank you. Thank you, the inventor. Okay. We got. Okay. Nice and tight. I just do in one end first, so it's easy for me to work with the rest. See? Here we go. Another zip tie. Make sure it's nice and tight and snug. Okay. So this is still moving, so I'm going to do one more zip tie. The big ones. Here we go from the outside. Okay. Just I want to make sure it's nice and snug. Okay. Here we go. Oh yep, that's nice and snug. Then I'm using my cutting shear. I trim it off a little bit so it looks make it looks nice and clean. Now you said. What are you going to do with aluminum foil? <laughs> okay. This is a heavy duty aluminum foil that they use for the, uh, what is it? The commercial uh, that they use, not the one you buy it, the flimsy one. You want to use this heavy duty one. So you want to cover this so it's nice and dark and it saves the, um, what is it? It deserves the lick the water in there, the moisture, and also it thinking that the the plant thinking that it's under the uh, soil. There you go. That's it. it. It's pretty pretty easy. 
this base is really easy to work with and it's not as small space and then okay so okay let me uh, turn this off that's it that's how you do air laying so uh, from this tree because I'm airlaying because I don't want this tree to be big and take up space. So, and I got family members that wants it. And this one is growing into the walkway. So that's how I, your airlaying seedless lamb. So if you have any question, you can ask. I want to update, I want to update you. Um, when I do cut this out and when you transplant it so there you go let me see I'm gonna flip the camera over okay it's not so I will see you next time and you have the question or anything put yourself uh, make uh, ask me in the comment section so bye see you next time